What's happening everybody? I'd like to welcome y'all to Royal Kennels. Hennessy, Emma, and Zeus. I just let the dogs out the back gate. I just wanted to give y'all a little special um, video today. Big Mama, Big Mama Emma, Big Papa Zeus, and Big Mama Hennessy. Hennessy, come see! We have confirmed the Zeus and Emma breeding, and we have also confirmed the Zeus and Hennessy breeding. Super excited. As someone uh, stated in one of my previous videos, it's mega breedings. Zeus and Hennessy is, is absolutely amazing, y'all. This girl. She is something else. She is a couple weeks behind Emma. getting a lot of rain and it's been extremely hot so they've been locked in the kennel for a while this is the first day that they've been able to come outside just wanted to give you guys a little shot of them And I also wanted to talk a little bit about Hennessy. Hennessy is a very rare dog. Um, I purchased her at two years old and she's never been bred, never had a litter. Well, I missed her first heat due to the fact that she doesn't swell or she doesn't bleed. And it's, it's something that I've never experienced before. But due to the fact that we watch our dogs extremely close, I was able to catch her. I was waiting for her to start swelling to kind of give me an idea that she was coming in heat. But what I did, I just watched the, the response that my male dogs gave her. Um, the first time I missed her, it was uh, approximately six months ago. Um, probably a month or two after I had got her, maybe a little later, but my dogs was, was around her and they was trying to mount her, but I didn't see any swelling or, or any blood. I just kind of rid it off because you guys know how Diesel aka the Big Mac is. So I kind of just rode it off for the time and then I ended up missing her because she never came back in the heat after that. Well. Just recently, um, I would say about three weeks to a month ago, I, I started noticing Tick, Diesel, and Zeus, they, they were on her. Everywhere she went, they was trying to mount her. So I, I got a Q-tip and I did like a slight swab test on her and I seen a red tint on the Q-tip. So from then on, I, I knew that she must have been coming into her heat cycle. So from that day, I counted nine to 10 days and I just monitored my males real heavy with her. And I, I went for what I knew just by paying attention to the dogs. And I did the breedings. We did three AIs with her and we just confirmed it. So just giving you guys a heads up, a lot of people look for your dogs to swell, look for them to breed to bleed but not all dogs do that so just giving you guys a heads up just to monitor your dogs if you do have the stud um, in your yard pay attention to how they react to your dog and it, it might save you from you know missing your uh, females heat cycle so I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys and let y'all see mama and papa well, both mamas and papa walking in the yard. Um, those of you who are on this breeding, um, you guys know who you are, those of you who are on them. 
you know the time has come um, I, I'm just giving you guys an update video letting y'all check them out we're all real excited about them um, I thank you guys so much for your patience look at it in that grass Hennessy come here mama but I just wanted to make a little quick video man for y'all talk to y'all a little bit I hope you guys have a wonderful day and God bless y'all. Come here, Emma. Zeus, here. Let's go, kennel up. Let's go, big daddy. <laughs>